U.S. consumer prices rose for a fifth straight month in June as the cost of gasoline and a range of other goods increased, further signs of firming inflation that strengthened the case for an interest rate hike this year. The Labor Department said on Friday its consumer price index, CPI, rose 0.3% last month after increasing 0.4% in May. Last month's increase pushed the year-on-year -year CPI rate into positive territory for the first time since December. The energy-driven disinflationary trend appears to have run its course. A report on Wednesday showed producer prices rose in June for a second straight month. Firming price pressures, together with a tightening labor market and strengthening housing could give the Fed confidence that inflation will gradually rise toward its 2% target. Fed Chair Janet Yellen this week affirmed the U.S. Central Bank was keen to start tightening monetary policy later this year after keeping its short-term interest rate near zero for more than six years. In the 12 months through June, the CPI edged up 0.1% after being unchanged in May. Economists polled by Reuters had forecast the CPI rising 0.3% from May and gaining 0.1% from a year ago. The so-called core CPI which strips out food and energy costs, increased 0.2% last month after rising 0.1% in May. Underlying inflation pressures have been tamed by a strong dollar. In the 12 months through June, the core CPI rose 1.8% after May's 1.7% increase. Last month, gasoline prices rose 3.4% after jumping 10.4% in May. Food prices rose 0.3%, the largest increase since September 2014, as an outbreak of bird flu in some parts of the country causes a shortage of eggs. Egg prices surged 18.3%, the biggest gain since August 1973. Elsewhere, the index for rent increased 0.4%, the largest rise since August 2013. With the residential vacancy rate near a 22-year low as a firming labor market boosts household formation, shelter costs are likely to continue rising. There were also increases in the cost of recreation, new motor vehicles, tobacco, airline fares and personal care. These offset declines in the prices for apparel, medical care, used cars and trucks and household furnishings.